reflecting along towards Christmas. We are on the day seven. Seven is the perfect number, right? According to the Jewish people even. So we are on the day seven. Today, let us reflect again on the fulfillment prof- promises. We are still on the fourth promise today. Hosea chapter 11 verse 1. When Israel was a child, I loved him. And out of Egypt, I call my son. This reference gives to Jesus fleeing out of Egypt. We know the whole episode, how Herod wanted to kill Jesus and how he had to flee to Egypt and how he was brought out of Egypt. Now, this whole episode is a kind of a recap of all that, a kind of a summary of all that the Lord has done. The greatest event for a Jewish person is the Lord bringing them out of the land of Egypt, bringing them out of slavery, victorious. There were great powers in front of them and the Lord worked great wonders to bring them out. The ten plagues stood for ten gods of Egypt. So each god was attacked. That's how finally the Lord brought them out. And here we see once again how the Lord is talking to us today saying that out of Egypt I have bought my son. Here one thing I want you to focus on is this. Jesus was the son of God and he was fleeing from a king. The king of kings was running so that he can save his life from a king. He who is the refuge and fortress of us all was seeking refuge in a foreign land. All this are true but it is more symbolic because listen to what they are saying. Listen to what this event is saying. The son of God going to Egypt to the land of slavery there he himself had to seek refuge. He was running from a place to place. Finally, he is brought out of that land and they settle again in the promised land. Henceforth, it shows how Jesus has embodied in himself the whole journey of Israel. He has embodied in himself the whole journey of the people of God. And then he wants them to embody the kind of obedience and love that he shows towards the father. That is, I have took upon myself all that you have undergone. And now I want you to take upon yourself all that I am bestowing upon you. That this is what it is. Beautiful, right? I want you all to experience what I have come to give you. Next promise was Jeremiah 31, 15. A voice is heard in Rama, moaning and great weeping. Rachel weeping for her children and refusing to be comforted because they are no more. We see this event in Matthew chapter 2, verses 17 to 18. The account of the tragic massacre of infants. Here we see how the language is the same of the language during the time of Moses, how the infants were uh, perished, they were killed. Here these infants who are innocent, why do they have to suffer? What sin have they committed? What wrong did they do? Sometimes we do not have answers to various questions, dear brethren. But one thing is that it is how the Lord is working. It is not that God wanted those infants to die. But yet, this is how things were designed. Many a times, many a times in our life, when we see some events, we 
start doubting God. Someone dies in the family, or else if something really un un unreserved, unwanted, unplanned for happens, we are totally shaken. Tears, which flow through our eyes, sometimes wash our faith. The pain in our hearts makes our hearts painless, makes our hearts stubborn. And here today we are looking at the birth of one infant and the death of many. This is how God works. This is how things happen. Everything for a purpose. Our focus should not be shaken, should not be moved by the course of events. But we should walk towards God. The Lord rewards everyone, even those infants were rewarded. The Lord rewards each one of us for our faith. So this is what the Lord wants us today. The two quotations that we saw, the fulfillment pro promises out of Egypt was one. The massacre of the infants was the other. Both speaking to us about the radical ways in which God works. Radical. Totally, totally unwarranted. We, we cannot understand. Yet, that's how things happen. That's how God works. And what I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to walk along. Be with the Lord and He will work. Amen.